All right, guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, here with another kind of a strange beer. Um, maybe strange just by the can. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Trial by Wombat New England IPA by Thin Man. Um, you know, and you can tell I'm totally Thin Manned out. Uh, we were there for a uh, can release. Um, eh, what was it, a week ago-ish? And uh, it was awesome. It was uh, beer day, uh, national beer day, and we had a great time. The last video I did kind of showed you all the kind of little stops that I did around town. Um, met up with my friend Andy Cav and his uh, fiance Megan at Thin Man. I was really uh, depressed the last time when uh, Filthy Flow came out, their collab with uh, My Color. Uh, their uh, t-shirts were all gone. I thought they were just a one-off. We saw them last week. Uh, they got one for me for like a belated uh, birthday present. So I was super pumped. I figured I'd, the first time I wore it, I'd throw it on a film and uh, that's that. But, all right, it's enough of that. But it, it is a very Thin Man-esque, uh, you know, video. Here, let me get rid of that. There you go. Anyway, Trial by Wombat, New England IPA. Take a look at this can. It's just super goofy. I mean... I'll take your word for uh, what a wombat looks like. I hope I'm never that close to one with those uh, chompers. Look at those things. Uh, it's a New England 7% alcohol by volume. I didn't get any IBUs. Um, it says brewed with copious amounts of Australian galaxy hops and flaked with oats. Hazy AF with tons of peach, pineapple, and orange. Uh, hazy AF. We all know what that stands for, but I'm trying to, you know, not be that guy. Anyway. It, you know, it was really enjoyable uh, on draft. The last couple I had out of the can were also enjoyable. So let's see what this thing looks like. Um, you know, I follow Village Beer Merchant on uh, Twitter. I follow Thin Man. Village Beer Merchant on uh, Elmwood was getting a little bit uh, thin in their supplies. So if this looks like something that you would be a fan of. It would probably behoove you guys to get out there maybe either later on today or tomorrow or pick some up when you see it. Um, with that being said, I do have like a, another two four packs left. If anybody wants a couple uh, in trade, let me know. Message me. Again, this is the Trial by Wombat. Goofy can. I think we love it. It's just one of those... Strange little things you got to do nowadays to be different. But anyway, look at this thing. It's great. It's got the the classic New England soft, rounded, yellowish sort of appearance. You know what I mean? Like fluffy and creamy looking on appearance. Super hazy. And, and I think that's really the, the go-to description is super hazy. And it's this milky yellow in appearance. Uh, I don't know if it's easy to see but it's very well carbonated here and, and it gives you that great sort of premium head do you know what i mean yeah and without even bringing that up to your nose you're already getting greeted by those citrusy sort of notes the pineapple and all that other sorts of stuff mm. and then you bring it in you can really smell that danky greenery uh you know that complements those those flavors as well it's nice it's you know, it, it, it sounds the part, it looks the part, it smells the part. So, but they say the proof is in the pudding, the proof is in the IPA. So let's see what it tastes like, right? A lot of people uh, talk the talk. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it walks the walk, right? It, uh, it's got that very well-rounded, that fluffy, soft sort of invitation to the beer. Um, nothing's coming out at you at right angles, right? There's no, you know, strange maltiness. There's no really bitter uh, hops in there. Everything's just really cool and mellow. And I think that's, it's just really cool and mellow. Which is strange for, you know, uh, an entendre of trial by combat, trial by wombat, right? Uh, nothing seems to be super intense and it's just, it's really cool. Mm. Uh, 
Now, as strange as this sounds, you know, I'm getting the pineapple. I'm totally getting a nice mellow peach um, kind of peach cocktail sort of, of back end to it. But what I'm doing uh, this time around is uh, a couple of nights ago, I had one of the beers out of the same four pack and I had this really uh, bitter lemon all the way through the beer uh, from opening from the first sip to the last sip. And it was just really strange and I couldn't put my finger on it. I'm like, what the heck is this? I didn't get it on draft. I didn't get it out of the first can I had. Second can, yes. This can, nothing. I, I, I'm not even close to getting any sort of that uh, that tart lemon flavor anywhere. But I just thought I would throw it out there in case anybody else uh, did. You know, it's something that I did uh, experience. Mm, it's awesome. It, it really is great. So we're going to go with, um, I wouldn't really put any of these New Englands as a, a light bodied. I don't think that's really what they're geared to be. They're geared to be like a medium, muddled, uh, hazy, bodily experience of a beer, right? Um, I think that's what best delivers the, that flavor profile and stuff like that. Really soft mouthfeel Um I wouldn't say as silky smooth as some of the other ones, but pretty damn near close. You know, maybe uh, 220 grit as opposed to 180. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. Um, the flavors are good. I don't get any sort of aftertaste minus the last beer I had. Uh, very good. Uh, I'm up and ready to drink another one of these in no time. Um, yeah, 7%, I think. That, that's being pretty generous for like the flavor profile. Uh, I didn't get any IBUs, but you know, what are they? Are they an arbitrary number? You want to put an IBU to something, you put an IBU to something. This isn't super bitter, but then again, I don't really agree with a lot of the IBU ratings anyway. Um, yeah, this is a total, the, the rest of these four packs are not going to last. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to try to make them last because you don't get to see Trial by Wombat as often as you probably would appreciate seeing at the brewery. But anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is a look at the Trial by Wombat by Thin Man. You know, um, just going to show that, you know, making good New England IPAs, just making good beers in general is very readily uh, possible and accessible to us in Buffalo. It lives on Elmwood in the district. And uh, yeah, so you got to get out there. You got to support them and let them know that they're doing a great job. So they want to keep making awesome beers for us so that they don't go anywhere so that they know that we love them. You know what I mean? So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed making it. It's a little, little bit, a uh, little bit long winded. I apologize for that, but that's what happens when you're excited about a beer. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. Leave me a thumbs up or a comment or tell your buddies about it and have them subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.